Namaste fire signs, welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your next 48 hours. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Big Cat Wave. The energy of Mars and Aries. Energy, the Emperor. So nice it came out twice, darling dear. This is about standing in your power as well as authority, darlings. Mm -hmm. A double four speaks about what being blamed for an issue in the future, darling dear. Someone's trying to project onto you. Mm -hmm. The energy of the double four also speaks about an invitation. Gosh, is it to what? Tongue wrestling, hockey sticks at dawn, I don't know. But if it's an in invitation for Bull Swanky, don't accept it. Not every battle must you attend if you want to win the war. Oh, we have Swallow, Sun Energy, the happiest card in the deck in tarot, represented by the number 76, 77, 78, and 79. Oh, forgot, nearly said forgot to tell you, but this is Ingus in the runes, Emperor Energy. It also speaks about common sense, being a superpower amongst some people. Mm -hmm. This speaks about happiness, your confidence returning to you, darling dear. It also speaks about success in all of your relationships. Mm -hmm. Represented by the letter S. A new beginning. One card, please. One card, please. Thank you. We have responsibility, your self-discipline, empowerment, reliability and fulfillment. This is your solar plexus, darling dear. The solar plexus is represented by arm, um, sun energy, Leo energy. It also speaks about an eastwardly direction. Mm -hmm. This is also about the control you have. Your effectiveness. Your confidence is on 1000, darling dear. You're feeling inspired because of the focus you've taken on your routines. Realising that you have the what? The responsibility for your own happiness. Base of the deck, more, more solar plexus. Yes, be a bit. It speaks about the choices and your personal boundaries. Boundaries, darling dear. In the face of what? A new beginning. Your assertiveness and your willpower. Standing in your power. This is about you, what? Creating happiness. No longer allowing negative thoughts to block your blessings. It also speaks about past energy. Past energy trying to come back into your life, darling dear. We have the base of the, the, base of the deck. We've got the root chakra. Mm -hmm. Looking for shelf, shelter and, and what? Safety, really. I nearly said shelf life. I think it's what fulfilled the shelf life. If it's a past person that you had to what? create personal boundaries mm -hmm. what is the overall theme for the big cat fire signs aries leo sagittarius over the next 48 hours the planetary energies as you kick your way into the next 48 hours an aspect between the cancer moon and neptune is causing you to what mind map your path forward darling dear pay attention to the what the direction that you're going in we already saw east mm -hmm. just don't get caught up in the details mars will have a gentle aspect with the cancer moon making it easier for you to digest the amount of work or the order of work you have to what complete in order to reach your goals just remember to take one step at a time overall what theme we have the page of swords the page of swords speaks about what a, a new study a new way of learning it also speaks about being curious about a new beginning it also speaks about others with page like energy being curious about what you've got going on my palm is itching me skriller is afoot 
Share the energy, big cat. Mm-hmm. Page of Swords. Somebody's spying, looking back. What's this? Yes. The current energy, darling dear, is about the knowledge that you are acquiring at this moment in time. It's about to put you in a boss-like status. The King of Pentacle is someone who is an entrepreneur. This is someone who is confident, darling dear. It also speaks about you. Some of you found the knowledge on how to turn your what? Physical health around, which you've done. Please excuse the adverts. I keep them on because sometimes they come with a message. Mm -hmm. The King of Pentacles knows their worth, darling dear. This also speaks about you moving away from someone who was immature. Someone who was ruthless, darling dear, with knowledge that they had on you. Good God. Is it a gossip? A merchant of slander? Mm. What happened in the past for my fire signs? Base of the deck. The situation wasn't working for you, blood. <laughs> Wheel of fortune on its face. One that lacked change, something that kept you stagnant and stuck. It also speaks about your health, your money. Everything was going down in a situation. Mm -hmm. A lot of setbacks. It also speaks about disloyalty. A lot of disloyal people or person around you, creating a lot of arguments. There was also a crisis point in a, rela um, a relationship that didn't change. Mm -hmm. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune, please. Thank you. Yes, baby. The third party situation could be three people involved. A throuple that you wasn't, you didn't fancy it. Wheel of Fortune on its face. Somebody made a choice, chose someone over you. This also speaks about, again, invitations and celebrations. The Wheel of Fortune is telling you not to take this particular invitation that is going to be offered to you over the next 48 hours. Base of the deck. You'll be sorry, mate. Okay. An emotional drain. Unable to release yourself from a situation. It's a codependent situation. It could be a family situation where the invitation is coming from. Divine is telling you to avoid it. You're dealing with page energy. Page. Immature energy. Liable to pop off. Mm -hmm. Present energy. Where did the card go? You have offers, darling. Yeah. Offers coming toward you. Mm -hmm. And it also speaks about helping hands, base of the deck. Something that... Mm. Something that you're going to consider deeply, darling. Yeah, you have an offer on the table or offers. This is new opportunities coming your way. Present energy. You're going to consider these offers, darling. Yeah. Mm. But Swords also speaks about looking at it from all angles, the mental as well as the um, the financial. This is the legal, looking at the legal of le legal situ legal side of the offers coming towards you. Future energy around the big cap fire sign. Mm. Judgment. Judgment of a new beginning, it also speaks about rebirth. It also speaks about the unrequited love of an ex or ex people that you had to leave a situation that was not changing. One where, every, where everyone's there for the celebration. The celebration of what? Gossip, darling, dear, and slandered right next to the page of swords. A situation that you simply must, I repeat, must continue to turn your back. Law 16 of the 48 laws of power. The judgment is represented by... Um, fire, water and Pluto energy. This is about you having liberated yourself from a situation. Again, this speaks about opportunities and offers. A great life-changing offer is coming towards you. Something that you've been focused on. But it can also be an unexpected gift. Base of the deck, darling dear. We also have someone who's a cheater. Somebody, I already mentioned the unrequited love. This person hasn't forgotten about you. They're trying to think of a way to get back into your situation. For one more round, Julie, with your hairline. Mm -hmm. This is also what not allowing um, negative thoughts to sabotage this new beginning that you've created for yourself, darling dear. Don't allow it. Best course of action. 
Think clearly, darling dear. This is about you what? Paying attention to your spiritual downloads. This is about you coming out of depression, worry, stress, and lack. Yeah. Realizing that nobody has control over your destiny but you. Base of the deck, what did I say? Taking this leap of faith, taking a risk, take a gamble on yourself, think clearly. This is also about your loyalty, taking it on the road. It also speaks about someone who was a partner to you, darling dear. It's per there was an age difference. This person took a risk into a situation that they have no control over and they realized what they've lost in you, darling dear, who would like to come back with the unrequited love. The hooded eyes of the unrequited love, full of what? Regret and not remorse. And regret and remorse is the difference between a Judas and a Peter. Mm -hmm. The best action is to what? Take this leap of faith on yourself. Leave situations that are unhealthy, toxic, those that feel that they can control what God has gifted to you. The gift of common sense, the gift of, gift of entrepreneurship. This also speaks about promotion. Removing yourself from situations that no longer serve you. What's the influence? Those that ain't going nowhere fast. Where they've invested their time into what? Foolishness and toxic behaviour. Mm-hmm. They're trying to influence you from the nosebleed section, darling dear. Dick dealing, mattress, backing, this is the in and out energy, darling dear. People that was meant to what? Come into your life and keep going. The Knight of Wands speaks about an adventurer, somebody, somebody who's extremely charming, darling dear, but their, their energy is fleeting. They invest in no one and leave a lot, leave a lot of toxicity, a lot of unharmed, unhealed, energy behind them this person is trying to influence your life don't allow it we already saw the eight of cups on its face darling dear don't allow it this speaks about what this person or people are feeling what grief as well as sadness it's all, all about the what um living in low self-esteem this could be the person that's going to be projecting their energies on you blaming you for something blaming you for what moon energy the bad energy in the situation darling dear this is also about your intuition. You was intuitively guided to end that situation with whomsoever this knight of wands or whomsoever these per peeps, people, I nearly said perpetrators are. Mm -hmm. You was guided to leave that situation behind, erect your personal boundaries so you could move on to a new beginning, a breath of fresh air. Taking that leap of faith from a situation that was affecting your health your finances but you're thinking clearly now as you sit in the seat of a king with your male or female mm -hmm. what's in your hopes and wishes hopes and wishes thank you to leave the dead with the dead darling dear Scorpio energy Mm-hmm. On its face. Good golly and gosh. This is moving a one you're wanting to move away from stagnant situations and not get caught up in the same thing where you're being breadcrumbed. This is you wanting what? Equal give and take. The energy you put in, you want reciprocation of that energy because you have options and you don't want confusion to come into a situation. A situation where you where you was once was on the knife's edge unable to heal this is mental torment and torture anxious unable to sleep you don't want confusion in your future energy base of the deck but you have to what adopt a new perspective realizing that you have to give back the wood don't sacrifice yourself to situations that come with a full-on red flag remember what you went through in the past in order to go forward life is about choices and you're going to be a success in wherever you step. This also speaks about what? Those that are beneath you. Not on your level, darling. The other gossipers, the slanderers, the wicked are seeing that you're happy. Sun card. Was this fighting? Why are they fighting? Final outcome. What's the confusion that they want to cause the big cat? Aries. Leo and Sagittarius. 
They want you to be what? The dealers or your left out in the cold, isolating you from a situation. But you have to realize that happiness is the inside job. Continue with your personal boundaries because it's fake love. Straight up to your face, darling, dear. These people or person don't even know how to love themselves. And it also speaks about the what? Somebody's pain to remove a pregnancy over the next 48 hours. This king of cups, somebody who's supposed to be a stand-up guy. They're not investing in a situation. This person was fleeting. We already saw the Knight of Wands energy. really rough what's going on someone's going for a bit of a rough time we've got the third house gemini energy mm -hmm. gemini is ruled by um mercury this is about your logic and your intellect in a situation the gemini energy is about your communication and how you think and it also speaks about siblings darling girl your siblings have it in for you why <laughs> Because of old things, things in the past, darling, dear. They're an opportunist. And it also speaks about medical. Do they possibly need to what? Go and have their psych, psych their mind reevaluated. Let's clarify this. Let me get a small deck. What else do the fire signs need to know about this? Well, whatever it is. Queen of Swords, that she's naive. Leave the past energy in the past. It's a cold case. You already have all of the information you need on a situation. We already saw siblings, a situation that needs to be cut out. Having the wisdom of your experiences. Queen of Swords. Yeah. You was you was around siblings, family members. Could this could even be a partner when we say family members? Somebody who never invested into you. This person was a high commanded Decepticon narcissist. You found that focusing on your bag, your work, your health has worked out absolutely fabulous. What's the cold case? Yeah. No longer fighting. No longer in situations where people are putting others' energies before you. You see a different perspective, putting yourself first. No longer stuck. Washing your face like David from those that want to argue. You got... <clears throat> you have 55. The 55 is about um, synchronicities, right? Taking leaps of faith. No longer stuck in a situation that is dead in the water. This opportunist, opportunist is going through the DNS, the dark night of the soul. Had to look over my right shoulder because you are no longer what? Investing in a love way in them. Mm -hmm. They feel broken for the manip manipulation. This is a con person that you were dealing with, darling, dear. This also speaks about the obsessive jealousy as well as the unrequited love. This also speaks about you having freed yourself from somebody who was what? Mentally and emotionally addictive. This is someone who you lost money around, lost your common sense. But now, common sense is your go-to move as far as this person is concerned. No longer trapped by your heart chakra. What's the medical? Somebody's going through some kind of an operation. But it also, the Ace of Swords also speaks about what? A mental breakdown. Good God. Someone in a toxic situation, right? Unable to remove themselves. Mm -hmm. Knowing that they put themselves in that situation, darling dear, they're going for a mental break. And that's the truth, roof. And we also have the one's energy on its face, darling dear, feeling uninspired, feeling depressed, feeling lack. And it, the medical look with the um, ones in reverse could also speak about an STD, darling dear. Somebody who was a liar, who was investing in many, but what reaped the harvest of nothing? Good God. It's a lot. Let's get a final message for you. Free yourself from past situations, right? We've got playfulness. This could be the one and very soon. What you truly desire in a relationship on all levels, darling dear, is coming towards you. But you have to continue to mentally free yourself from a situation. Your heart is free, but the mind has to be free as well. In the reverse. 
don't in whatever this broken engagement or situation is right it fell under free yourself right and we also got heart to heart conversations somebody's going to be getting in contact with you but be careful they come with the codependent vibes darling dear to take you back to a situation that you've already overcome when you decided to no longer offer emotions to a situation get a hold of your emotions Somebody's not loving the separation from you, darling. Well, they're going to have to learn to live with it. On that note, I dropped me mic. Toddle over to my Teesprings, toddle over to my Patreon, or simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Cat, cat. Cat, cat.